para hablar de esto, we're going to switch to English now to talk to um, Christy Bravo from uh, carmd.com, car, carmd.com, uh, so to talk about this report. Here we go. So now we're with uh, Christy Bravo from car, carmd.com. Uh, how are you, Christine? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Uh, very interesting, as always, your, uh, the results of your studies. And uh, I guess a big surprise, uh, maybe for a, a lot of people, but not for you, since you've been tracking this, uh, so the progress of Hyundai coming up at number one. Was that a surprise for you? Uh, not really a surprise. It sort of steady wins the race. Uh, CarMD tracks um, the, uh, the the best, most reliable manufacturers and cars uh, every year. This is our third annual report, and Toyota had historically um, come in ranked number one. Um, we look at the cars that have the lowest repair incidents combined with the lowest average repair costs, and Hyundai has just uh, solidly been in second, and now they've, they've um, taken over and uh, unseated Toyota as the number one. Yeah, very, very, very interesting. As you said, I mean, Hyundai has been come a long way in the past uh, few years doing, um, putting out really good product, uh, and, and, and this shows it, uh, shows, shows it. And, and to me, this, uh, this study is more like the one realistic because it actually talks about repairs. I mean, cars... Well, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. There's a there's a lot of um, there's a lot of reports that come out that look at how pretty you know pretty the car was or how well it drove or what you know the, the seat heaters did and we're looking at you know realistically how often are you going to have it in the shop and what's it going to cost and that's what people care about you know CarMD tries to provide information that helps you make good decisions on repairs and ownership and just overall lower the cost of owning a car. Yeah, so can we go in detail a little bit about how the study is, is, uh, was done? I mean, well, I, I know it's uh, tons and tons of data. Can you go a little bit over the numbers, please? Absolutely. CarMD has a network of technicians across the country, so thousands of uh, technicians that are servicing cars every day. And um, we basically keep one of the largest databases of check engine-related issues uh, that have ever been compiled. So we're talking hundreds of thousands uh, of repairs each year, and we look at ranking those vehicles in terms of reliability based on not just what it costs, but how often it was in the shop. So we equally weight each of those um, and come up with the cars that, you know, you are eventually going to have to bring your car in. Um, with the average age of a vehicle being 11 years old, at some point you're going to need repairs and service. And we're just looking at, um, you know, which of them have the, the, the least amount of headaches. So, um, yes, it, you know, it's, it's just very interesting data. And um, there's nobody else who is um, ranking vehicles the way that we're looking at the data. So, yeah, in this particular case for this study, I understand that it was over 150,000 repair services that were studied, right? Uh, that is correct, and we look at it from um, the end of September to early October every year, so we're looking at year-over-year uh, -year comparisons um, to kind of even the playing field and make sure that we're you know, presenting the most accurate data. Yeah. So now let's go over the top ten. Uh, so Hyundai came up, and the average cost of a repair in a Hyundai, it's uh, $312 with 67 cents. And uh, and then Toyota, 500, that's 540 and 53 cents. That's a big difference between one and two in terms of the cost of the repair. Why is that? You know what, it really is, um, and it, it, we're looking at all the vehicles. So, um, you know, every vehicle that comes into the shop, even if it's 10 or 11 years old, um, you know, so if somebody needs a transmission or, in the case of Toyota, um, a lot of the older Prius vehicles are starting to need hybrid batteries. And okay. those are very costly repairs. So I look, we actually looked at if you removed hybrid-related repairs from Toyota, you would actually be looking in the $400 range. Like four hundred and fifty to four hundred and seventy dollars okay. for repairs on average. So they are def their score is definitely being hurt by their hybrids, but they're still fabulous vehicles that are saving people tons of money, you know, on fuel. So you have to look at the pros and cons. Yeah, absolutely. And and again, so it goes. I mean, we won't go over every every manufacturer. The top ten is Hyundai, Toyota, General Motors, Chrysler, Honda. 
Ford, Nissan, Kia, Volkswagen, and Mitsubishi. One uh, thing that uh, that pops to my attention is that I don't see luxury brands here. Why is that? Well, we lump the luxury brands in with their parents. So, for instance, uh, when you're looking at Toyota, uh, that includes Lexus vehicles and oh, so see. on and so forth. So we're just looking at the parent manufacturer. Uh, we don't dig into the individual brands. We do that with the individual vehicles where we rank the top 100 cars, trucks, SUVs, etc. cetera. So um, we, we are just more the – CarMD is the data provider for the for the average person, and so we're just looking at the parent manufacturers and all of the makes and models that they have. Oh, I see. But is that the, in the in the case of the Volkswagen? Is that the brand or the group? Uh, that is the group. Oh, okay, excellent. So, okay, now let's go uh, into the 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 most common um, problems that people found in their cars. What was it for this year? I I, I guess that doesn't change year to year, right? Well, you know, it changes a little bit. Years ago, it, it always used to be the gas cap that would plague people. And as, you know, you've got capless gas tanks and people are getting more savvy with saying, oh, gosh, when that check engine light comes on, it very easily could be something simple. Um, you know, people are getting smarter and being able to diagnose their cars. Uh, so it used to be tighten or replace gas cap. Today, the most common repair is an oxygen sensor. Um, if you ignore an oxygen oxygen sensor, it can hurt your gas mileage by as much as about 40%. So if you ignore that for the year, you could be putting seven or $800 worth of extra gas in your car. Um, but we also look at by make, uh, what are some of the more common problems and different types of vehicles definitely have, um, you know, problems that, that plague them. Um, for instance, um, the Mini has 28% of repairs are related to an oxygen sensor. So that's right in line. Um, obviously more than the U.S. average, but but still just very interesting. Um, whereas um, a Subaru may need to have a catalytic converter replaced more often, and what that tells us is that Subaru owners are holding on to their cars so mm -hmm. long that basically the cars are outlasting the catalytic converter. So again, you know, we put out the facts and let the consumer decide, you know, what does that mean to them in terms of vehicle purchases and, and repairs and ownership. Yeah, and uh, you were mentioning the oxygen, your, uh, oxygen sensor, and like as, as you were saying, if people let that go for a long time, that ends up being a more costly repair, right? Right. Anytime you ignore that check engine light, um, it can snowball into more expensive repairs, whereas it might have been a couple hundred dollar oxygen sensor, it can ultimately become a catalytic converter failure, and those cost well over $1,000 these days. People are actually stealing them. You see it on the news all the time. So, um, you know, just something that we, we always at CarMD encourage you. Don't be afraid of what that check engine light is telling you. It could be something very, very, very simple. I mean, in some cases, it could be a free gas cap, um, you know, just tighten it and go. It could be a spark plug that you can replace for $10 from the local auto parts store. Um, we just really want people to use our information to be educated but not to be afraid. Yeah. And finally, because uh, unfortunately we're running out of time in this segment, but it's very interesting. We could go on the whole hour to talk about this. But at the top-ranked vehicle, the Toyota Camry came up uh, as number one. Yeah, this is the third year that a Toyota vehicle has been at number one. The 2012 Toyota Camry um, ranks as the vehicle with the least amount of problems and the lowest average repair cost. So um, Toyota is still making phenomenal products, and you can see um, how your vehicle ranks if you go to carmd.com forward slash scorecard, and you can put in any year, make, and model and see what are the common problems for that car and what letter grade does it get, A, B, C, D, or F. So um, you can decide what you want to buy next. Excellent. And uh, you answered my next question. <laughs> what was going to be where uh, the audience can find out more information about this study. So thank you very much, Kristin. Thank you very much. I always love being on your show. Thank you very much again, and uh, we all, uh, I will uh, wait for the next uh, report. Uh, and uh, First spread uh, the news about this one, and then, like, always being uh, on, on the look for your next study at karen.com. Well, I mean, and 
And with the holidays coming up, you can also get our products at carmd.com, and where you can actually diagnose problems on your own car from home. It's a great Christmas present. So I hope that helps. Excellent. Absolutely it does. Thank you very much again, Kristen. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.